Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we learned about for loop. But there are two more loops that we need to know about, the while loop and the do while loop. And in this video, we will see how we work with while loop. Remember one thing, you can use any loop in almost any case. But the preferable situation to use while is when we do not know how many times our loop is going to iterate. If you are not getting it, then don't bother about it. We will see some real world examples in coming videos. For now, let's convert this for loop that we created in the previous video into while. Okay, so I commented this for loop for now as we are going to use while. So to make comment, you can use double forward slashes and a comment means these lines will not be compiled. It will be ignored by the compiler. Okay. So for now, these two lines are comment and it is not going to be compiled. Okay. So guys, every loop has three phases. The first one is the initialization phase. Okay. And if we talk about this for loop, then this is the initialization phase, okay, where we are initializing a variable. The second condition is the test condition phase, okay. Now in this for loop, here we are testing the condition. If it is true, it will come inside the loop and it will execute the statements written inside the loop. If it is not true, the statement written inside the loops will not be executed and the control will skip the body of the loop. Okay. And the last phase is the updation phase. You see, we are updating the value of i here so that this condition will become false after a while. Okay. So we have to use these three phases in while as well. So if we want to do the same that we did with this for loop, then what we can do is, let me show you first the syntax of while. So what we do is we write while in small letters, then parenthesis, and then a pair of curly braces. Okay. Then what we can do, we can test the condition here. So in this area, we write the test condition. Okay. Now, if this condition is true, the control will come inside the while body and it will execute everything written, written inside while. Okay. If this condition is not true, it will skip the while body and it will come below while and it will execute remaining statements if written. Okay. So this is the syntax of while. Now what we can do, we can write the initialization phase above while. Let's say let i of type number equals to 1. So this is our initialization phase. Okay. Then the second phase is the test condition phase. Okay. And the test condition we write here. Okay. So what is the test condition? I is less than 11. So here we will write I is less than 11. Okay. Now what we were doing in for loop, we can write it inside while. So I will copy the same and I will write it here. Okay. So we have the two phases, the initialization phase and the test condition phase. Then we are doing the work that we want to do inside the loop. And the final phase is the updation phase. Okay. Now remember, if we do not write anything, then what will happen? The value of i is 1. It will test the condition. 1 is less than 11. It will come inside the loop. It will execute this statement. It will come back here. Now again, the value is 1. So the value of i is not changing. So it will always be 1 and the condition is always true. So this is what we call as an infinite loop. The i, the value of i is not changing. So it will never become false and it will keep executing. So this should not happen. Okay. So what we will do, we will write i equals to i plus 1. And this is our updation phase. Now every time it will enter inside the while body, it will update the value of i. And after a while, the condition will become false. Okay. So this will do the same thing that we were doing with this 
for loop. Let me show you. You see, we got the same output that we were getting with for loop. Now there is another thing. If there is only a single line dependent on this while loop, then we do not need to wrap the while. Uh, we do not need to wrap the statements inside while with a curly braces. So if there is only one line dependent in this while loop, we can remove the curly braces and that is true for all the loops. Okay. So what we can do here, we can start the I from zero or you can simply write here I plus plus. Okay. And it will do the same thing. Let me show you. You see, we got the same output. So what is happening here? It is a post fix expression. So first it is calculating the value of num into i and then after calculation, it is incrementing the value of i. So remember if we need to write only one line, we can skip the curly braces, but I will tell you always use curly braces. Okay. You can write, it doesn't matter even for a single statement. Okay. It will work the same. You see? So that's it for this video guys. I hope you got what is a while loop and I will recommend you to practice some basic problems with while loop that we usually do with that we usually do while learning the C programming language. And if you are having any questions, you can leave it on the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.